My name is Mohammed, and today I'm presenting No Shifted Augmentations. This is joint work with Marcel Ackerman, Olmish Kurb, and Tom Bishop. So what is out of distribution detection? Assuming the left image is that you are training an object detection model for cars and it works really well, captures all cars on your training validation data collected in the summer. However, in the right image, you deploy it in a bad winter and it totally fails. This also applies to classification tasks. Assume training an image classification model in CIFAR and then testing it in MNIST, although it doesn't even have a class for digits. More concretely, for detecting out of distribution data, we will learn a representation F theta based on the end distribution data and define a detection score S, such as that the score for the end distribution samples is larger than the score for out of distribution samples. Out of distribution detection problem can have many settings. It can be totally supervised, semi supervised, or totally unsupervised, which is the setup studied in this work. And this is a summary of our main contributions in this work. We start by posing a simple question. Is the representation quality the only important factor for OED performance? The blue curve is here shows the training and evaluation logs of a same clear model. We can see that although its linear probe accuracy is nearly constant all during very long training, the picture is very different for its OED performance, which deteriorates significantly with long training. An analysis of the concentration of the distribution shows that also it deteriorates significantly during training at the same time. Here we repeat the same experiment but for same SIAM, a non-contrastive self-supervised learning technique and we can see a different picture, the OED performance remains nearly constant even after very long training and the concentration of the distribution remains high even after 5000 epochs. Our first proposed modification is adding a differentiable L2 normalization after the encoder. The intuition behind this is to force the model to differentiate between samples directionally and not just by using a different norm which helps increasing the concentration of the distribution. We can see that after adding the normalization, the learned distribution represented by the rate curve is much more dense and this is maintained all through training. We then evaluate the OED performance using three different metrics. Uh, here we can see that the first row is before normalization, the second row is after, and we can see that the second row has much better performance and which and this is maintained all through training without any drastic effect. Our second proposed modification is adding an L2 normalization after the projection step. The idea is to fix the target inconsistencies introduced by the stop grad operation. We perform an ablation study and find the second normalization to be very important in the low batch size regime. We here propose using the cosine distance in the Mahaloblance space for feature evaluation. We also propose a very lightweight feature in Somlik techniques that uh, uses only a single first pass. And then our experimental results. We here show an extensive evaluation study of various methods and datasets with and without pollution in the end distribution data. Adding normalization consistently improves performance for all methods and datasets, as can be seen in the end columns here especially in the presence of pollution and in, in, in distribution data, our method consistently achieves state-of-the-art without insomnia. And here is an evaluation of our proposed feature in insomnia technique versus literature. Our method compares very favorably to the recent state-of-the-art, although it uses only a single forward pass and has much less assumptions on the data. We have shown that for OOD, pre-trained model does not generalize well beyond their training data. Pre-trained model even in very huge data sets fails catastrophically in the simple SVHN benchmark, although our models that are trained from scratch can get nearly perfect score. Thanks.